excited because I got my cast set day orchids that I ordered last week. I am super duper excited about these because they were a really good deal and you can get the same deal. You just have to go on www.catacetinae.com. I do believe he has divisions left. What this grower does is he sells divisions of his orchids and he ships them bare root. You can see this is not a very big package. There's probably no pots in here at all. These are all bare root orchids, so I'll get to do a potting video for you guys for Catacetinae orchids, the uh, Mormodes that's in here. I'll do, actually I'm not even really sure if I bought a Mormodes. I think I bought mainly Catacetums, but that's why we're doing this video because we're going to get to see what I purchased. And I was really disappointed at first because I was really disappointed at first because the grower sent me an email saying that he didn't have any more uh, Clausetum Abigail Parsons, which I really, really wanted. He was out, so I was really disappointed about that. But he threw in a free orchid and gave me my money back for the Clausetum, so that was pretty cool. I'll be even happier if it turns out to be an orchid that I don't already have. Sometimes you get orchids that you already have. It, I'll, I'll be happy either way. It's a free orchid. I can't be disappointed in a free orchid. So let's whip into this baby. So I will put the website down in the I will put the website down in the description uh, or in the comments section. Just look for it down there. He's running low on plants, so if you don't like anything that he has on his website, uh, just email him for his spring division list, and you'll be one of the first ones notified when those divisions come out, and you can purchase them before they're all gone. They go pretty quickly, so make sure you get on his email list. So this is from Stephen Moffat, and his, uh, Orchid Nursery is called Rare Earth Orchids. I super excited! Oh, and it even has everything that I purchased. Ah. Okay, so you can see here I got, well, I'll just show you because that's more fun anyways. Oh, he gave me a little, uh, he gave me a little uh, how to grow cat see them uh, a grow here list. Ooh, it's like it's, it's it's like Christmas. Ah! Okay, you're gonna see me like being really weird just because I'm super excited. They are packaged really well, as you can see inside the box. Ooh, see all of the pretty cats see them? They're in there. That is really well. They're not going anywhere. Until I take them out. Okay. Um. Oh, there's another piece of tape. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this first one that I'll be unwrapping here, and these are all bare root. You can see they're not in pots, but that's okay with me. That just means I get to create a potting video for you guys. Oh, it's so cute and tiny. Oh, look at it, look at it. Look at it. This little tag. This is number three. Catacetum Millie's Frilly Dragon, non-blooming size, uh, back ball edition. So obviously non-blooming size, look how tiny. But that's okay. 
I got a good price for it, so I don't mind growing it up completely inside. And it's got all these little. Oh, man. It's some water, that's for sure. It's pretty dry. Okay, finally got all this little So there you can see my catacetum Millie's. Really dragging it. It's gonna be beautiful when it decides to bloom. Oh, it's got this little baby shoot coming off the side there. It's cute. Okay, so the next one on the list, I wonder which one he gave me for free. That would be cool if it was like a Fred Clark. Fred Clark here. I'm saying that totally wrong. But you know what I mean, the Fred Clark catacetums. They are always highly sought after. So that would be cool if he gave me those. The next one, another really tiny one. And this one was, I wish I had a name. This one is, oh, this is more Modi's Lime Tiger uh, Catacetum Expansum. This is a hybrid between the Mormodes and the Catacetum. And it's, it's small, it's, it's but that's okay. Like I said, I purchased them small because you can get them for cheaper prices. This one is six dollars. And a large division of these is very, very expensive. We're going to like $60 range, so yeah. And I have to make sure that I don't mix them up here and have them separated with their tags. Okay. Next one. I still haven't gotten to the free one yet. I really want to know what it is. Because I, I like free. I like free. Oh. Dirt there. This one is also $6. So maybe that other one wasn't. One. Number six. I wish they had labels. Labels are very helpful. Generally speaking, when you don't know what something is. So, Another small uh, division here, you can see, okay. uh, I have no idea what this one is because it doesn't, oh, 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 it is a, I, I just saw where he wrote on the sheet, um, number four, or four number six, which you can see on the label there. So it is a Catacetum J and R Solar. No, I'm not too excited. No, don't mind the disappointment here. I wasn't really wanting a Catacetum. I wanted the Laocetum. Uh, so that's okay. I, like I said, I can't complain. It's a free orchid, so I will grow it and love it and edit and have a mini joy. Okay. So the next one. Now, I know a lot of these are really small, but I did get some blooming size. I, I think I got one blooming size. Yeah, see it. Oh, and this one has a nice fresh green tip root on it, which is exciting because that means it's healthy and growing. So that's good news. And this one is... Oh, ooh, I love this one. This is the um, Fred Clark era uh, Enter Light. So this one will be a beautiful, this is one of those Fred Clarks. And I got it for uh, $10. 
like I said, the Fred Clarks. I don't think I've ever seen an ugly Fred Clark cat seed. I'll make it look messy. The next one. This video never ends. Keep in cappuccinos. That would be great for me though. Endless supply of cappuccino pages. This next one that I'm pulling out is. This one is uh, More Modi's Painted Desert by Catacida. Mark Dimmit. It's a small blooming size. So it is on the small side. So this one is More Modi's and uh, Catacida. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than the other ones that I pulled out. I actually think I like purchasing bare root because then you don't have to worry about whether or not the orchid um, is healthy in the potting medium. So you get to pot it yourself and you know what the roots look like going in to the pot. Because some orchids don't like to be unpotted all the time. So you have to go through that struggle of, should I repot this now? Should I repot it later? Bare root, you've got to repot it. Or you've got to put it in something. So you don't have to go through that. This is um, Catacetum pileatum um, with Imperial Catacetum Donna Marie. So it's beautiful. And I'm super excited to pot all of these orchids with you guys. I hope you are ready for that video. Last one, and the biggest one, I guess it's going to be this. Um, so this is the only one that is not, well it is a catacetum, but it's mixed with a uh, clauacetum. Catacetum Elena Lawson and Catacetum Frilly Doris. So this one, because it's mixed with Frilly Doris, it should have a uh, fingriotted lip, those little furry lips that you see on the Frilly Doris, so a frilly lip for Frilly Doris. So this one should have that frilly lip and it should be spotted because Frilly Doris is spotted as well. I'm not sure what the Malacetum Elena Lawson looks like, but the plowacetums, they have those kind of like, almost like a teacup kind of shape to the flowers. So a mix between that and the doors. So there you go. This is the last of my orchids that I purchased from Rare Earth Orchids. I'm super happy with my purchase here. I got these guys for a great deal, even better deal because I got one of them for free. So if you like my video and you want to check out his website, then you can look at the description and I'll put his website there. And don't forget to like me, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, more unboxing videos. And you guys can follow me on Twitter at BulbaFet on Twitter so you guys know which videos are coming up. And I'll see you guys next time.